So today we are making a data logger that records the temperature on the SD card by using a K-type thermocouple, a RTC clock, which is this one. We have a SD card module and one SD card, HGB send this SD card for recording data. This is Max 6675 thermocouple for sending and receiving data from the K-type thermocouple and Arduino Uno. Let's clear this all. So this is Arduino, this is a breadboard. We have these three modules, RTC and Max 6675. And this is the circuit diagram. I want you to take a screenshot or uh, make it on your own copy. So firstly we connect the Max 6675, connect the ground to the ground, VCC to the 5 volts or 3.5 volts, SO to pin number 7, digital pin number 7, CS to pin number 6, CS to pin number 6, CSK to pin number 5, There are five pins on 6675. All of them are attached to the Arduino now. Now, Max 6675 is already connected to the Arduino. Now, let's move to micro SD card adapter. It has six pins. The GND to the common GND. CS to four pin number four. SCK, SCK to digital pin 13. MOSI to pin number 11 MISO to digital pin number 12 and finally VCC to 5 volts and ground to the common ground the SD card is now completely in circuit with the Arduino now we will place a DS3231 real-time clock in circuit. First of all, the SCL will be connected to the topmost digital pin on the Arduino that has no label. And the SDA pin on the DS3231 will be connected to the second topmost digital pin on the Arduino. The VCC to 5 volts or 3.3 volts and the ground to the common ground. Now all the three circuits or three modules are powered and are working on the normal condition. This is a thermocouple. It has two terminals. One is red and the other one is blue. Red indicates the positive terminal whereas Blue indicates the negative terminal. Let's connect the positive terminal that is red to T plus level on the MAX 6675 module. And let's connect the blue one to the negative terminal. Now let's power the Arduino. The light gets on and the circuit is operating now. All data will be stored on the SD card. In the serial monitor, with the program loaded, we have this output in the serial monitor. The program will be in the description below. Now let's take the SD card from the module out and see if the data log file is written on SD card or not. Make sure that the SanDisk or any other micro SD card is formatted with FAT32. Now let's place it on the computer. It was a screen before. So let's go to my computer and the SD card. Uh, there we go, we have a data log file which is a text file. Open Microsoft Excel. Choose data from text, choose the text file and it gives us option way to separate the rows and columns. 
temperature we wrote on the program is replaced by space otherwise the bar graph won't show anything on the Excel so click OK go to insert bar bar graph and there we go we have temperature reading and curve hence the program is completely working and the data is stored on the SD card thank you please subscribe if you like